Howdy, I'm Paul Buffler with Train University and today I'm in La Crosse, Wisconsin and I have Dan Rasmussen and Zach Roberson here going to walk us through some updates to the Train University uh, training lab here. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Dan Rasmussen. I'm Dan Rasmussen, manager of Train University's technical service training team here in La Crosse. Along with us today is Zach Roberson one of our instructors, and also Zach is the project leader of the VRF lab updates currently taking place in the cross. Zach will walk us through the state place. All right, Zach, you're on. All right, so for the last couple of weeks, we've had some exciting changes here in our training lab in La Crosse. We are installing two completely independent variable refrigerant flow systems. We have a heat pump system right here, and we have a heat or I'm sorry, this is a heat recovery system, 12 ton, and we have a heat pump system, 8 ton system. So we're going to have two completely independent operating VRF systems in our training lab for our upcoming VRF service and operations course. We can see that we're going to come up, we've got piping going on here, getting our main lines, our installers are doing their nitrogen purge as per our installation requirements. And we follow that rack on down the way there, we're going to come along, see more of our mainline piping. We also see that we've got nice support for that piping in accordance with the installation requirements. And we're coming down and we're still in the process, but at some point here, we're gonna be connected up to our mode change unit for our, VR, our heat recovery system. And then we're also gonna be coming over and having piping run through our uh, branch joints to our indoor units for our heat pump. We've got five indoor units on the heat pump system. And currently we're gonna have four indoor units on our heat recovery system. So the beauty of our heat recovery system is we put our six port MCU up there, so we're actually gonna be able to expand our VRF capability as time goes on, which is one of the benefits of VRF is you can scale it to your needs. So I hope you guys enjoyed our brief tour. Uh, come to our class. Get some hands on with this system and uh, learn more about the exciting world of VRF. Cool. Hey, Zach, uh, what we got some different controls here. You got, I just want to give a, that nothing's oh. hooked up yet. But. So we got nothing hooked up yet because we're still installing, but we've got our simple touch uh, controller and we also have the simple wired controller. And we'll be going through, this will be integral to the class that we offer. We'll be going through what can we do through this controller? What can we do through this touch? So that we have a better understanding. In addition, we'll be using the technician utility tool and service laptops to get into the system and use that software to properly log and evaluate system performance. Cool. Mr. Dan, you got anything else to add to our, our well, tour here? I look forward to having you here in La Crosse to attend one of our verbal recruitment control tra trainings, either the installation or the service and operation. Thank you. Cool. Well, so that was it. Just a quick quick once around here with Zach and Dan and uh, without any further ado I will see you guys later and uh, look for links below um, to see what all our class offerings we have so thanks for your time talk to you later